The big day has arrived. We are going to put the roof uh, coating onto the Naparimo. Um, in modern days, um, for a roof like this, it probably would have some sort of bitumen um, roofing. Um, the plans seem to refer to sheeting. It doesn't say the size, the thickness, but we would think it's very, very light. The last time I did this was on the Venezuela and I used emery paper. Um, I couldn't get a piece large enough to span the entire uh, model, so I cut up some small pieces. Um, they were 3 feet by 12 feet and installed them on the roof. Well, that exercise didn't go so well and I ended up stripping it, stripping it all off. Um, <laughs> It really looked quite shitty actually and um, the roof is such a visible part of this model that I really will not allow it to look this bad. Because I put it on with PV it was very easy in fact to take it off. So I stripped it off, I managed to get it off before um, the glue had actually hardened too much and then put some alcohol on it and took all the glue off. And so I've decided to paint it, and this is the first coat that's on it. And of course, whereas you didn't see the imperfections when it had a wooden surface, now you're seeing all the imperfections. So I'm going to have to put some filler and refinish it. I'll have to mask the whole boat to make sure that none of the dust gets all over the boat. So this, which was supposed to be a really simple exercise, is getting a little more complicated. But it came out pretty good in the end, um, nice finish, almost too nice. Um, when this is all finished, we are going to add a little character by dirtying up the model a little bit. We have installed the water tank on the back end of the roof and you can see we have also added a vent pipe. And then that little chimney is from the kitchen. As we go further up the roof are the two. Um, wind scoops that bring um, air into the engine room and of course the funnel along with the whistle that's now connected and of course the main uh, mast on the top which will hold um, the running lights which is also connected and the hatch um, that allows uh, ladder access to the roof um, to change the light and to uh, do whatever maintenance work is necessary on the roof. We've added the port and starboard lights, um, taken straight off the plan. And if you look behind the port and starboard lights, you'll see a little chair. This is not part of the plan, but we've decided to add it. Um, this is the captain's um, helmsman's chair. Um, there's just no way he could be seen standing the entire day and we've added it in the same style as the benches on the upper class section. Now we're going to paint the upper railing. Um, of course these were put on um, as brass pieces and so the first thing we have to do is make a little template to make sure we don't get any white paint on those wonderful mahogany decks. Um, again just taking in time making sure there's no splatter I was a little concerned um, when I was installing the pieces because I had pre-painted everything that I could um, and wanted to make sure, I wasn't sure that I would be able to touch it up properly but that turned out to be not really a big problem. You will remember in the previous um, video when I talked about making the benches that I was going to get a friend, Larry Brito from my RC club um, to come and uh, print some benches for me and I got my daughter Lindsay uh, to do the drawings on um, on 3D and send them over to Larry and I've got the first pieces from him and they came out pretty good um, he is actually working on a second printing 
because I found that they were a little too wide, correct height, but a little too wide. And um, there's a little back ledge that the slats go on um, that was almost non-existent. I had to stick a piece on. Um, so I'm waiting on those. In the meantime, I'm experimenting with the 20 pieces that he made up. And I'm really very happy with them, except for the width. These are the pieces here. Um, they, they look wider than they already are, but this is um, a little overspill which you cut off and you're left with just the neat, the neat piece. This is um, a, a bench being assembled right now. I've got the base down and um, putting the back pieces in. So we're going to put one on this side and one on the other side and then the rest of the benches will go along this wall here and this wall here. In the original ship it actually had them right up against the railing. Um, I just don't think from a practical point of view and certainly in none of the pictures I've seen of boats would you see a bench right up against the railing. It would have been on the back wall looking forward. Perhaps the only issue may have been the heat generated um, by the boiler, which is really this side of the room. So certainly it'd be no issue putting them on, on this back side here. This is a short clip that Larry sent me of the pieces being, um, being printed. There's no question that this is going to revolutionize our, our, our hobby, although some may think this desecrates what the term scratch built means. Um, me, I am very happy with the results and I'm prepared to live with any backlash that may come. In fact, these, um, these wind scoops were uh, produced by a 3D professional service. So. So my COVID journey continues and I'm going to bring this video to an end, try and keep them short. We're coming to the end of the build in fact and um, I'm, in the next video I'm really going to have just a series of small things. One of the more challenging pieces um, are going to, I have to make up a mold for the light boat. I've got the shape down um, pretty part. Um, but it's going to be an experience to actually make a mold so I can um, mass produce a number of these lifeboats. So keep the COVID out your front door and keep modeling and we'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.